visiting Australia soon so I just want to apply visa so this video I'll tell you how I can apply Australia visa step by step along with what are the documentation needed while applying this Australia visa so you need not to go to the agent just to get your Australia visa do watch this video till then so the visa I'm applying here for Australia tourism purpose is subclass 600 is the visa name. So I'll just go to the Australia website and apply for this particular visa. Cost of this subclass 600 visa is 190 AUD which is equivalent to 10k Indian rupees and around 150 SGD. So this visa will apply from uh, Australia immigration website directly online by visiting online.imi.gov.au which is Australia immigration website. So once you reach this website you have to create your profile or you can say you can you have to create your account. So for account creation you are just have to enter your email id and the password name and date of birth. That these are the basic details you have to enter and thus they will create a profile for you. Quick tip is here before applying you should have all the documents in hand prior applying your application in the official website. So the first section in which they requires your document is the travel section. So in this section you have to apply your passport, copy front and back and also there is another section in which you will scan all the pages of your passport. So basically first your passport copy front and back and second is scanning all the pages of your passports second section is national identity document so for this section you have to scan your national identity documents like if you're coming from india then you have to scan your Aadhaar card and also you have to scan your like voter id card or driving license the more identity proofs you have the more chances of approval so try to approve at least two identity documents scanned copies third section in which they require your document is evidence of financial so in this section you have to already take a scan of your pay slips if you are working and also pdf of your bank statement and if you are working then you have to also try to put uh, your tax document so these three are majorly required for your financial evidence for traveling in Australia. Fourth section is evidence of current employer or current business. So in this section if you are working in a private company or you are working in a government organization then here you have to get a letterhead from your company with your name and the designation along with the salary you are withdrawing every month. Beside that, there was a one more document that need is the leave of option. Suppose you are planning a trip from 20 June to 30 June, get your leave approved and take a copy of your leave approval. But if you are having your own business, then you do not require any leave application. All you required uh, to upload a copy of your business license. So here are the tips for the bank statement try to upload for at least three years of bank statement and also try to upload uh, for like income tax proof trying to upload three years document irrespective whether you are wor working in a private firm or the public firm or you are owning your own business but if you are like retired or pension people then you need not to upload these things you just upload your pension passbook as a proof of your funding or if you have not getting any pensions just upload uh, your bank statement which enough for the evidence of your financial statements there is one more section in which you have to upload your itinerary plan so whatever itinerary you plan along with the hotel bookings 
or the flight bookings try to get in advance if not at least try to book some hotels on non on refundable basis not the flight but at least hotels on refundable basis and upload while applying for your visa application it just add uh, some bonus points in your chances of approving that visa once you have a scanned copy of all the documents i as i mentioned then you can apply the visa directly from the portal that i'll show you step by step in this video but once you submit your visa then you have to also do the biometric so this biometric section is optional for some countries and uh, mandatory for some countries so it depends from which country you are flying so you have to check that whether the country you are flying required this process or not for biometric since i am traveling from singapore so for me it's mandatory to do the biometric so for that i booked the appointment on vfs global it's a online agency which do all the biometric process uh, and it cost me 45 dollars which i paid online uh, so i went to their center on the appointment date and the time slot i choose and on that place uh, they just want a uh, original passport along with the copy of my visa application and they click few photos and take a thumb impression that's it it just i think hardly take 10 minutes to do all this process so once i completed my biometric from vfs global i head back to my home and within like 2 hours i got approved visa yeah i got approved visa <laughs> and the validity of my visa is one year from the day it got approved so i can travel multiple times within this one year duration to australia so it's good now i'll just plan my trip and just quickly do all the things so i'll just give you heads up on that how i am going to do this watch this video till the end because i added all the steps while applying this australia visa so you can follow me and apply your own visa by yourself no need to go to any agent if you are interested in my itinerary and the places i covered during uh, my trip to australia then do watch all the video so go to google and search for australia visa and this link this mi home affairs.gov.au in this i'll just scroll down You see the cost of this visa is one ninety AUD, and it is valid for one year. That is twelve month. Then I go to the details and scroll down little bit. Here you get option to apply. So let's click on apply, and then we can see there's an option to log in or create account. I'll just choose to create account, and in this you have to enter your email address. So whatever the email address you want. just type it here and then click on send verification code once you click on send verification code it sends an verification code to your email address and then you have to enter that code over here now click continue then it will ask your name phone number After entering the details, click Continue again. Now choose your password and few security questions with your answers. Once you fill all the security questions with the answers, click Terms and Conditions Security Check and Submit. And now this page will pop up. Click on Continue, and then it will ask for you login. Then click on Terms and Conditions and Next. Now it asks, so Are you applied outside the Australia? Yes. And then click Next. Then select your location from where you are applying. So I'm applying from Singapore. Select your visa status, and then you have to tell the detail of your visa that you're holding in the country you are living. Now it will ask purpose of stay. So select the stay. I'll list all the reason for visiting Australia. So I select tourism, 
and then you have to give a specific details of the purpose you visiting australia then if you are traveling in group select yes and then select the group where you enter the details of all the members who are going with you if there is no group created you just create select a group give a name and the type and then click on confirm if you are traveling alone then click no next question is are you traveling as a representative of foreign government no and then next the next page is asking your passport details so you have to fill all the details of your passport which includes your name passport number make sure every detail is correct in this section now give the details of your identity cards that you hold so click on yes and then add your driving license and the aadhar card details in this section and then click on confirm next is specific card holder say no and then give the details of your place of birth with relationship status citizenship status and the previous travel information of australia since i am traveling from singapore so these are the additional questions they are asking from you but if you are traveling from the country you are living from where your passport is issued so might be you will not get these questions once you fill click next and then you will get all the informations that you fill just to confirm if changes needed go back and add it else click on next i click next and then i got this error uh, it seems like i filled one of the detail in my passport incorrectly so what i can do i'll just click on the previous button and then go and change the details correctly as mentioned in my passport also i so i miss the date of expiry of my aadhar card so i fill that and then i'll click on next next again and now you see there is a confirmation alert now it's asking for the traveling companions so if any other person traveling with you click yes and then add the family group the details of the person who is traveling with you so it will ask the relationship date of birth name sex and all those information so you have to fill those information and click on confirm i am traveling alone so i'll click no to this section and next and here now it will ask the contact details of me so i'll fill all the details that is country name state postal code telephone number my postal address all those information
once you done click on next now it will ask for the authorized recipient so in this you have to click no then it will ask for the email address put your email address in this and then next it asking non accompanying members of the family unit so the families who are traveling with you is not citizen of australia or not pr resident so answer is yes all are non citizens and then you have to again add some detail of the family members that are traveling with you since i'm traveling alone i click no and then next this page now asks you the detail information of the length of your stay in australia so fill all the details the length of stay the planned arrival date it not needed to be that you have to be very sure about the dates but give approximately timeline when you are planning to arrive in australia then move on now it will ask your current employee details so if you are student employed you choose from the drop down and give your professional details your occupation organization name and the country and the contact details all those information related to your company where you working once you fill all the details click next and then it asked the fund of your australia trip once done click next and then it asks for the visa history so has the applicant held any applicant currently hold visa outside australia yes and no so just read each of the point so since i am staying in singapore i clicked yes and i'm giving the detail of my stay in singapore and similarly for the rest of the point just read and click yes and no next again then it will ask for the few more declarations that whatever the information you given in the visa are correct or not read each point carefully and tick yes and no once you done click on next the next is the applicant review page just review all the details in this section if you required any modification go on previous otherwise click next now this section will now require you documents so documents i said earlier so here first is the travel document select the passport and choose passport next is national id upload your aadhar card in this section next is your family details and your itinerary plan planned activities so upload the document each category one by one so select the document type and upload the document so make sure before coming to this section you have all the documents in hands so you can see in financial they are asking for the pay slip bank statements and similarly there's other documents like letter from the employer with the current role evidence of the leave or the business license or the registration if you're owning a business once you done click next 
and it will redirect to the your application where you can add it delete and copy or you can submit the application and if you are missing any attachments then there is an option in the left hand side attach documents click on that and then you will get your attachment page and again go back and then you can make the changes here at last click on submit application that's it and if you need more details I'll add to my channel in which i'll share the cost and the places i covered in my trip so enjoy have fun bye bye mm.